Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm former Major League Baseball player Jermaine Curtis and today we talk about why you may not be seeing the all-speed pitches. It's something that a lot of you ask me questions about so I wanted to make a video on that and in addition to that I have several players here with USA Baseball who is struggling with that as well. So I wanted to make a video to help you guys because I'm helping them right now and they're getting good results. Basically what's been going on is several players are hitting at the top of the batter's box and I know I used to be a player too where I, I used to you know go up to the plate and say to myself there's no way these guys are gonna throw by me I'd be right at the top of the batter's box like come on bring it bring it right but what happens is when you're in the top of the batter's box when a pitcher throws an off-speed pitch and it may be a ball up out of his hands and as it gets halfway to the plate it may still be a ball but when it gets to the catcher it's a strike and few of my players they are missing those pitches because they're giving up too early because they're just too close to the plate so for you guys out there what i want to say to you is give yourself a little bit more time by getting in the back of the batter's box this is going to help you so when that hanger that's the one that's up in the zone that when it's up in the zone and it's it looks like a ball and then as it starts coming down you start seeing it coming down you could catch that boy out front and drive it because all speed pitches that are up that's the easiest one to drive out of the ballpark and get your extra base hits and so we want to capitalize on those whenever we can get them and so by giving yourself just a smidge more time that's going to allow you to see the ball better plus it's going to help you to not swing at the all speed pitches that are down in the zone a lot of my players are here and then when two strikes happen what do they do they swing at the change-ups and the sliders and the curveballs that are bouncing right in front of the plate because they have to make a quicker decision so if you're a player out there know that just giving yourself a little bit more time that could give you an extra pitch and the extra pitch will allow you to maybe get your pitch and get a base hit or get a double or get that game winning hit but just giving yourself a little bit more time. So that'd be the first thing I would say to you, check where you are in the batter's box and make sure that you are uh, giving yourself some time. And also make sure you're not diving. A lot of players start diving and then what do they do? They're seeing from one eye instead of both eyes. And that's crucial to being a great hitter, seeing the baseball, you have to see it. So a lot of you right now are here or off the plate and you're diving and you can't see it because it looks like a fastball and then when it comes to you it starts sliding away and you are already committed to being a fastball because you're only seeing it from one eye so that's tip number two is watch what your feet is doing your lower half is doing in the batter's box if your lower half is diving that's going to make it hard for you to see the ball all right so you want to be even or slightly open where both these eyes can see the pitcher and see the baseball that's going to help you to make better decisions we have to be able to see as a hitter or else it's just going to be hard to be consistent so the next thing i want to talk about is your approach at the plate and what is that that's basically having a plan before you step into the batter's box at the lower levels travel ball uh, even some high school uh, places what you're going to get is if you're just a good player you can go up there and just see the ball hit the ball you could just see a good pitch and just hammer it you know what i mean that's just what happens at that those levels you just play the game and you're one of the better players but as you start getting up and up as like this league right here where there are players from vanderbilt from osu from ucla you're getting the best talent in the nation playing here they're gonna have a strategy and what they're trying to do to you. And if you go up to the plate, just see it and hit it, you might start swinging at this pitch, which is off the plate, or this one right here. And what is the pitcher gonna do? They'll start moving the ball a little bit more. They'll start moving it over. And if you're swinging at all of this, it's gonna be hard for you to be consistent. 
And if you're swinging at pitches here, what are they gonna do? Start throwing pitches lower and lower. They're gonna start making adjustments uh, pertaining to the information that you are giving them. And that's when you swing the bat. When you don't swing, you don't give them information. But when you do swing, you do give them information. So they're gonna start making adjustments on you. So with that being said, what do you do? You have to have a plan before you step into the battle's box. And how do you get your plan? Well, I have the hitter's log right here. This is a book where you jot down your thoughts, your mental approach, the pitches you see. Uh, you jot down uh, the when you get out, when you get hits, you jot it all down and you use that data to know what type of player you are. You wanna know what type of player you are. That's how you're gonna play your best, okay? So for me, when I use the hitter's log and I would track everything, I realized that most of my success were fastballs up in the zone early in the count. So when I went to the plate, that's what I look for. And that kept me from swinging at that OO changeup, OO slider, OO curveball, everything down in the zone. And it put me in better uh, hitters counts. But you need to know what you do well. So going back to the whole video, you might be just looking too low in the you know in your approach you might be looking for the pitch here and you may not even be thinking about it but you may be just looking to hit a fastball here and if you do what's going to happen is they're going to start throwing change ups on that same plane as that low fastball and curve balls and and sliders and everything and since you're looking so low you're going to start swinging at that pitch and you're going to start grounding out or even missing it because of that so what you want to do is have a plan before you step into the batter's box that's going to give you the best results and right now you may have an approach where you're looking too low in the zone and that's the reason why you're not seeing the off speed pitch okay so the fourth thing i want to talk about is timing a lot of you are just maybe late and when you're late what happens you late you get here and everything moves quick and if you look at an mlb player everything's moving slow they're moving slow they're giving themselves time so what you want to do is you want to give yourself time as a hitter and you don't want to move fast and the way to do that is being ready before you step into the batter's box so when you're on deck you need to get your timing as a hitter and i made a video about this that talks more about it i'll put it in the description below and go ahead and watch that video and take what is in that video because it's definitely going to help you it helped me to be ready when i went inside that batter's box looking for an early fastball up in the zone okay so that's what you want to do you want to check your timing and that starts when you're on deck getting ready to hit loosen your body up real quick and then get yourself ready so when you come in here you don't miss that pitch that is going to make you the most successful okay so those right there are the four keys to uh helping you i'm going to throw another one it's going to be the fifth key and the fifth key is if you have a high leg kick what you could be doing is you could be moving forward you see how far my head moved it went from here to here right there if you move in this much it's going to speed the ball up okay so what we want to do is there's nothing wrong with having the leg kick as long as you're staying back and keeping your head still if your head is bouncing all over the place you're going to start swinging at that uh pitch that's low in the zone you're not going to be able to see the off speed pitches so we want to check ourselves on that and one of the things you could do is when you're hitting in a cage i usually put a tape on the side of the fence so if a hitter is right here getting ready i would walk from the head and i would go all the way to the fence and i put tape there and then as he finishes the swing i put a tape right there as well so then you can see how far your head is moving and that's something that you can monitor as a player so it's something that i highly recommend and it's going to help you as well because if you can't see you won't be able to hit so we want to always give ourselves the best chance to seeing the baseball because that's what's going to make us consistent out in the ballpark so i want to thank you guys for watching i appreciate you hit that like button if you like this subscribe to the channel if you're new here and definitely go and pick your hitters log up i'll give it to you for free um, all you have to do is just pay the shipping and link will be in the description below all right so thank you guys i'm signing out